What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and in this video we're going to be uh, trying out a few different webcams and really testing out the quality of the Elgato 4K 60 frames per second face cam pro. Uh, so before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed and that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Uh, onto the video itself, what are we testing? Well, right now you are looking at the Elgato face cam pro and this is the full 4K resolution, 60 frames per second feed. Uh, but what we want to do is actually see what it looks like compared to other devices. So I'm going to go ahead and add a 1440p webcam, a 2K webcam uh, from Anchor and see how that looks. Now, immediately we can see that the main difference is size. The Elgato is clearly a full 4K resolution, but the Anchor webcam is clearly not at full 4K. It's still a very impressive 2K resolution, uh, but not quite there yet. So we're gonna try one more webcam to really demonstrate how large a 1080p webcam is compared to a 4K webcam. All right, so now we are on the 1080p webcam and you can clearly see the three different sizes here. We have the 1080p, the uh, 2K and the 4K, you're just getting way more pixels. But how does the image quality compare? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and toss out the 1080p webcam because we wanna test against at least the best it has to offer. So I'm gonna be testing the quality between the Anchor and the Elgato. To give it the best chance it can, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the image settings such as the uh, white balance and things like that to match with the Elgato's as closely as possible. So this is the 2K webcam and we can see the 30 frames per second movement here. Still visually fairly impressive even when stretched to 4K. Uh, and then let's switch to the uh, 4K webcam and when I move here, we can just see a wild quality difference. Uh, we can also see a, a lot of different tones. I, I chose more contrast on these. Looks a little bit darker. You can obviously brighten things up. I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and test this further. So here we have the two webcams. We have the 2K webcam on the right and the 4K webcam in 60 frames per second on the left. And uh, you can kind of see for yourself which one's good, which one's bad. Um, obviously the frames per second, spirit fingers, <laughs> the higher frames per second is probably going to look smoother. Um, the other webcam does have some benefits because for the cost, this still holds up really really well maybe not you know the 60 frames per second to 30 frames per second part but in terms of quality i mean it looks pretty good it's close um but obviously it's not true uh 4k it is 2k and on top of that it is a slower frames per second so yeah on now you can kind of uh see the different quality and see if it's worth it for you to upgrade to the face cam pro um, I do believe that the 60 frames per second at 4K is a massive upgrade. And while you do need to adjust your lighting slightly, um, honestly, I think it looks really, really good with even very little updates. Obviously, any camera is going to do not too well in low light. Um, actually, yeah, let's do a low light setting as well. Let me turn off all the lights and see what these cameras look like after. So this is with one light off. Uh, so you can still see me. I kind of automatically adjusted the exposure there. Um, if I turn off the exposure, that's kind of what it looks like. Still very high quality, high performing. Now yeah, let's leave the exposure off. Not even automatic. Let's go ahead and go in and um, turn more lights off. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so this is with almost no lighting. I have my computer screens in front of me and a big TV in front of me. And you can clearly see that the uh, 2K webcam is kind of struggling. It, it's doing more processing to compensate and get enough Im uh, light in to make the, the images look nice. Um, sorry, I, there's like three cameras, so I might be looking at the wrong one, depending on which one you're actually, uh, which version of me you're actually watching. Uh, so let's further turn off the lights. Let me turn off my 
TV. So this is what uh, the Elgato looks like with the lights off and what the 2K webcam on, from Anchor looks like with the lights off. And you can immediately see that the Anchor actually has better low light compensation. It looks a lot uh, brighter, um, but the Facecam Pro is more true to life. So there is a payoff there. You can't really adjust the exposure on the Facecam Pro without getting artifacts. Uh, so I don't really recommend using that. I obviously better recommend uh, better lighting. Um, that's going to make things a lot nicer. Um, but even in low light, uh, this is a pretty realistic visual. Uh, this is what my room looks like right now. It's super dark. The, the one on the right definitely isn't what my room looks like. There's no brightness at all. But at the same time, for a streamer, if you're working in the dark, you might want that super bright, um, you know, oversaturated image because you want it to look as if it is the daytime. So one way or the other, kind of up to you. Let me go ahead and turn the lights back on. Well, that's it for this one. I'll leave you to decide which webcam you think is worth it. I'll put links to both in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to our channel members, Miss Mo Davis and Tammy the Psychic. If you want to get shout outs in videos like this and help support this channel, click on that channel button. Thank you so much for watching. From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always bring something new. It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?